concentrate on God's grace and God's mercy. And remember that He has brought us a mighty long way. Amen. He has brought us through this week. Most of us know hurt, harm, or danger has befallen. Amen. Amen. But somehow God just came by our way and cleaned our streets and the cars so we can get out of here. Go everywhere we need to go but accept the church. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Just to come and say thank you. And I'm here to praise your holy name. Amen.
those who trust in the Lord will find strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles, for they will run and not grow weary and not faint. For a short while this afternoon, soar, soar. Throughout Scripture, the person who truly trusts God is compared to an eagle. The eagle has some pests. And one of those pests is a crow. A crow, if you ever see a crow, a crow is always squawking. And always causing the eagle some trouble. If the truth be told, church, we all have a few crows in our life. Amen. <laughs> Some of us may have an entire flock of them. <laughs> Along with a few chickens and a few turkeys. And certain people can rub us the wrong way. Whether it be in the church, out of the church, on our jobs, or in school. Yeah. They can irritate us if we allow them to do so. But we need to learn a lesson from the eagle instead. You see, when the eagle is out flying, Often a crow will come up right behind him and start to peck at him and aggravate him right. and annoy him. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although the eagle is much larger, it cannot maneuver quickly right. to get rid of that pest. The eagle just stretches out its wings, which are eight foot wingspan, and catches some of the thermal currents and rises up higher and higher. But eventually, he gets to an altitude where no other bird can fly. That's right. That's right. The crow can't even breathe up there. On rare occasions, eagles have been spotted at altitudes as high as 20,000 feet, nearly as high as jet flies. But in the same manner, if you want to get rid of your best, you need to rise higher. Ah, come on now. Come on. And trust me, when some of your pests get around you, You wish that you could just soar, and soar, and soar. And don't ever sink down to the opposition level. Yeah. See, we yeah. want to always get on their level. Come on. Mm. And then make things worse than what they were. Don't argue. Don't try to pay somebody back. You know, that's we favor for that. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm gonna pay you back. <laughs> One way or the other, I'm gonna get you. And that is so true that as growing up as a young child, you thought your parents forgot about that whipping. 
But they got you when you least expect it. Amen. <laughs> you thought they forgot. No. And don't give the past the cold shoulder. Now y'all know how we do. You don't like nobody. We gonna give them the cold shoulder in a heartbeat. They could have been two or three years mad with you, but they still got that shoulder complex. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. When you walk up and you talk to them, they get to their seat so fast they thought that lightning was behind them. Hello, somebody. You got to be the bigger person. You got to overlook the faults. You got to walk in love and, and dare to bless even your enemies. Yes. But in the long run, cut crows can't compete with an eagle. Exactly. If you're an eagle, that crow ain't going to compete with you. Because they'll finally realize it ain't no use in trying to compete with you. You are an eagle. You've been made in the image of the Almighty God. Yes. What you need to do is learn to live above your circumstances. Amen. Rise above the petty politics at the office and in the church and on church committee. Bye bye. Come on, man. We get. Now I'm not going to say second that. Huh? But folk get caught up. Or stuff that they don't need to be caught up on. Rise above that. Don't let the people pull you into a strife division, get you all upset or gossiping about nothing. You can't help it. Move on. Always remember this one thing that turkeys, chickens, and crows cannot live at the same altitude at which you were designed to soar. God didn't put you on this earth to be at the bottom. He put you on this earth to be at the top. There is no such thing as I can't do. My grandmother used to tell me all the time, there is no such word as I can't. If God has given you the strength, yeah. Yeah. if God has given you the wisdom, yeah. if God has given you the vision, you can do it. Amen. Amen. Because God is in complete control of your life. He promised that if we remain at rest, He would make your wrongs right. He'll bring justice into your life. You don't have to worry, nor must you be controlled by your circumstances. Yes, man. You can do as the eagle and rise up above it. Yeah? You might be out of a job. Yeah? You might not have food on your table. But in the country that I live in, and the God that I know will supply all your needs. Amen. Will supply everything that you need, but you got to trust Him and get off the pity body. Right. Come on, man. Come on, man. You won't see an eagle pecking around in a chicken coop with a bunch of chickens. You never see an eagle. All you see is chicken. <laughs> look it down, never look it up. Never. Because you see, an eagle lives in high places. That's right. Where he's close to God. But moreover, when the storms come and the eagle doesn't simply go through the storm. No, he puts his wings out catches a little more wind and rises above the storm. He'll rise higher until he's completely above all that turmoil. So all of that turmoil that's down under you, 
to mess around you, you just need to get on up, get about all of that turmoil. Don't listen to all of that gossip. Get up a little higher. You're going to see the eagle is not concerned about the storm he's facing. The eagle doesn't get upset. He knows he has a way out, and you have a way out here. No doubt he probably could fight his way through the storm. Struggle and strain and come out weary, worn, all beaten up. What a shame for him to love that way when God has given him the ability to rise above it all. Yet struggle is what many of us do. God has given us peace. He has cast his cares on him. He said, if we just remain at rest, in other words, what he's saying is, just chill out. Yeah. If you just stand back, he will fight our battles for us. Yes, he will. Yes, he but will. too often we allow ourselves to become worried and upset about every little thing yes. that comes our way. Amen. Amen. Some were upset on Thursday. Lord, why did all this snow come in? Well, if I'm not mistaken, my grandmother told me that when the snow comes, it just cleanses all the air. Cleanses everything that's in the air. Some of us just complain because the snow plow didn't get down the street. You ought to be glad you got a snow plow coming by at all. And then the other part of that is we let people steal our children. We can't have no peace because of what somebody heard or somebody that told somebody else and then it's a trickle down domino effect and it's all over and we letting everybody just steal our joy because of what everybody else said. Well if they said it, they ain't got no joy, so why you want to listen to them in the first place? Amen. We get out, get out of shape if our plans don't work out. Mm -hmm. Huh? Exactly as you have. We do. Or maybe we're frustrated because our boss or our husband or our wife is not doing what we want them to do. Hell, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know that happens, we get upset. I told you, I done told you, I done told you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And they still won't do what you told them to do. <laughs> we kind of went through that last night. Now I'm down there and Thursday, I'm down there back in the little thing she helped me out. I said, I got that over there. Now, let me, I want to get some more. Right. Okay. <laughs> the long walk is back to I just ate. Walked away. It's on you. You go ahead and do it. Yo. Well, no, you should be getting upset about it. She was going to do it her way. Anyway. 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 Oh, my God. You may be able to change certain aspects of your life, but you can't not rise above them. Turn those situations over to God. Make a decision that today you are not going to allow those things to upset you and bother you anymore. Did you know that the crow has to flap his wings constantly simply to fly? He has to work constantly. The chicken can barely get off the ground. 
no matter how much he flaps his wings, he's not going anywhere. Yes. Y'all from the country, y'all know y'all chase the chickens around. All they do is flop, flop, flop. Can't get no higher than the fence if they make it to the fence. Yet an eagle merely catches the right wind current and he begins to soar. He doesn't have to be like a crow working and straining all the time. He just puts his wings out and resting what God has given him, letting the winds carry him. Yeah. If you are always frustrated, trying to fix everything in your life and everything in everybody else's life, then trying to straighten the person out for what he or she shared about you, worried about your health, worried about your finances, you're acting like the crow. You're working and working and flapping and flapping, and I'm here to tell you this afternoon, life doesn't have to be that way. Can I get a witness? What you, what you need to do is relax a little bit. <laughs> what you need to do is just relax a little bit. Because God is in complete control of your life. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. He said he'd be a friend that sticks closer than a brother. You are able to make it day by day because the moment we get too tired to make another step, the power of God seems to give us a second win. Yeah. God won't let go. That's right. Come on, please. That's right. And that's good news. Your second win is the surge of energy and strength you get when you thought you had given it all. Your second win is what happens when life kicks you down and somehow you struggle to your feet. Your second win is what happened when you failed in school and went back to try it one more time. Your second win is when you failed in the pit and decided not to accept failure but to give it your best shot. Your second win is when your business venture collapsed and decided to start all over again. Your second win is when the floods of life washed your past, but you decided not to let your building a future. Your second win is when your children disappoint you so much that you could not see any further. Then you decided to try one more time and urge on by the power of God. That's good news. That's good news. You may not be able to change certain aspects of your life, That's right. but hold on to the second wind. Because Jeremiah 31, 25 says, I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, because God says you will soar high on wings like eagles. Yeah. Hold on to God. So if you hold on to God's hand, yeah. he will guide you. He will slow down if we soar too fast. He will speed up if we soar too slow. And if we get too high, he will bring us down. Yes, bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, he will. Yeah. When life gets tiresome and difficult, you need to hold to God's hand. Yes, amen. We as Christians, we forget who God is. We forget who God is. We'll carry our cell phones every place we go. We will. If we leave them at home, man, we'll turn around every time. I forgot my cell phone. I forgot my cell phone. <laughs> we'll flip it and call everybody. But we won't flip it to call all Jesus. We'll test everybody on it. But we won't test anybody and let you know that there is a man called Jesus. But we got the cell phone. You've got to hold to God's hands. If we hold to God's hands, church, he will guide us. When, when God is holding our hands, 
even if we stumble just a little, he still holds on. Yeah. Hold my hand, Lord, while I take care of my family. I, I, I don't want to soar alone. Hold my hand, Lord, while I try to deal with the raging storms in my life. I don't want to soar alone. Hold my hand, Lord, while I try to make sense of the madness that surrounds me. I don't want to soar alone. Lord, take my hand when I can't see my way. Lord, take my hand when I can't turn to the right or turn to the left. Lord, take my hand when I'm confused and don't know what to do. Lord, take my hand when I weak and give me strength. Lord, take my hand when I've fallen and help me up again. When you say to yourself, I can soar like an eagle and call on the name of Jesus. Jesus is a strong hand that will never, never let you down. Jesus, a mother to the motherless. Jesus, a shelter in the town of storm. Call on Jesus, who died on Calvary. But the Bible says early Sunday night, he got up from the grave with all power in his hands. That's good news. Call on Jesus. He'll give you a second wind so you can soar like an eagle. You need to call on Jesus. Stop calling on everybody else. Call on somebody that can give you some power. Somebody that can lift you up and not tear you down. Everybody that's your friend ain't your friend. Amen. Amen. As soon as you say friend, they'll say win. <laughs> Bottom line. Amen. And here's something. And I think we all, including myself, needs to pray. How easily I forget, Father, that trusting you isn't about flapping harder, but about letting you lift me. Thank you for your promise not to let me fall. To soar like an eagle. I've got to trust and trust like you need to. Sometimes, church, we just need the soul. We need to get out of the Always feeling sorry for yourself. When, when, when I was looking at this commercial last night about Affleck, and my boy was on the golf course, and he's playing golf. But he wouldn't let the others get next to him. So you all, you see the commercial, the way he got that one golf club under his wing. And as he's going down, he's putting. And then he putted one in the water. He took his beat and went down and got it out of the water. But then if they were sitting there looking at him go through all of this, he comes back after. He comes back again. <laughs> and as he's walking with his golf club under his wing, all of a sudden the ball came out and he just kicked it and they asked him, can he do that? <laughs> but what he did, he did not let him get the best of him. In other words, what I'm trying to say, he saw it in what he was doing. And we got to saw in what we're going to do. And y'all people, you got to stop playing the game. You need to soar. You need to get up, go to school, catch the bus on time, eat the cornflakes going out the door. But you need to soar. 
You cannot afford to mess around now. Amen. Because what we went through, you might have to go through again. That's right. That's right. Because it ain't over. And then too, the other part of that. Parents, y'all need to soar too. Y'all need to beat that. <laughs> there is no such thing as the news said this morning. They come to find out there's no such thing as ADADHD, whatever you want to call it. They came out with a study this morning and said there's no such thing. Two white doctors and scientists. There ain't no such thing. They said all you got to do, this is what a white doctor said, is tighten it up. That's what he said. You probably see it again tonight. We can't take it up. There's no such thing. I said that a long time ago. But all of y'all, if you trust God and put your hands in God's hand, a couple of weeks ago I stated that one of our young men became a pilot for Southwest Airlines. Now, think about this. He was just as young or younger than some of you all who run around in the church. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But he had a dream. He had a dream at a young age. His father and mother wanted him to play the organ. He still played. But his dream was that one day I'm going to be a pilot. Coast Guard. Flew helicopter for the Coast Guard. And now a national carrier, Southwest. Let me explain something to y'all. It's in your hands. Amen. Amen. It's in your hands. Now I know that the hormones are key. <laughs> and I know that everything is everything. But the hormones gonna kick now. Gonna kick later, gonna kick later, gonna kick later. But if they kick too much, and you have a child, you done lost all your education. You follow me? In other words, you gotta keep that dream alive. You gotta know when to say no. And that old Western says you gotta know when to hold. Go with the phone. Go with the make myself clear? Amen. I don't need to go no other way, but if you want to talk to me later about it, I'll tell you the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your world. Not only the young people, some older folks sit here. Amen. Life has to go on. You can't keep pity and 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 pity. Sometimes you gotta get up yourself and do something. Because like I told you two weeks ago, you are in the image of God. And God don't make no mistakes. It might not be. You might think that what you want to do in life is not what your parents want you to do. But somebody got to do it. Amen. Amen. There's nothing wrong with him cutting the hair. As long as your business. There's nothing wrong with shining shoes. As long as your business. But you got to do something with your life. And be all that you can be. All that you can be. We got a lot of young folk out here. Queen Latifah. Look how she started as a rapper. But now she's got a talk show. That's rated number two. 
of all the top shows. But you start somewhere and you build and you build and you build. And that's for old folks. Old folks, y'all ain't too young. Y'all ain't too old. Y'all can't learn something. A lot of old folks started business in their old age. So you're never too old to do. You just need to soar. So, I don't want to get a phone call talking about y'all and did something wrong. Yeah, I can. You hear me? Other day. All that talk. But if you don't get that education, you can't have my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth, folks. But if we don't speak the truth, and sometimes we just want to cover everything up. These kids today can tell you more. Yes. Did you think? Yes. They know more than what you give them credit for. Because we want to be hush hush. But tell them. Tell them now. So that they can understand. The doors of the church are open, shall we stand?